Hey everybody, good morning and welcome to This Week in Ticket Bureau. Uh, my name is Steve Rogan, I'm Town Media Director. And uh, this is our Monday broadcast of what's going on in Tingsboro this week. So um, I've got a bunch of things I wanted to get to. Obviously, the uh, Festival of Trees is coming up this week, and we'll chat a bit about that, as well as what's on the calendar coming up uh, uh, in town government and uh, a few other items that I wanted to make sure you guys knew about before you uh, get going on the week. Well, you've already started. It's, it's Monday. It's noontime, so <laughs> you've already started your day. But uh, hopefully it started out pretty good. It's a little drizzly out there, not the greatest start to a Monday uh, t or to a work week, especially coming after uh, coming back after vacation and uh, holiday and all that, but uh, still not too bad. I guess we can't complain, right? So I'm going to bring you right over to my computer screen so you can check this out, and I'm also going to get rid of this music, so hold on one second here. And there we go. Okay, so uh, on the calendar, um, it's actually a light government week. There's not a ton of stuff going on. So uh, oh, as always, I, I get all this information from tingsboroughmain.gov. Uh, with exception to somewhere I'll go around to some departments and get some other info uh, that might not be published just yet. But uh, anything that you want to find out as far as what I chat about, uh, usually you can get it from this website or from uh, some of the other town websites, Tingsboro Rec or Tingsboro Police or Tingsboro Fire, so on and so forth. Uh, there's a number of places you can go and get this info. So uh, as far as what's on the calendar, let's go right over to, oops, sorry, can't see my screen. There we go. Let's go over to the calendar. So like I said, it's kind of a light week. Um, there is a Board of Health meeting tonight and uh, something going on over at the high school for uh, uh, Tingsboro Public Schools. Uh, that's tonight. There's no selectum meeting this week that I know of other than an executive session tomorrow night, but that's an executive session, so it wouldn't be uh, broadcast anyways. Uh, also, there's a Historical Commission meeting tomorrow night that I believe I will be covering. I have to check with, check with the uh, Historical Commission and find out what's going on with that. Otherwise, the rest of the week is pretty quiet, so kind of nice. Uh, usually that happens towards the, the end of the month when there's an extra... Uh, extra few days at the end of the month, you'll get no meetings that week, so it's kind of nice. Sometimes you'll get fill-in meetings, though. They'll they'll schedule things accordingly, but uh, but yeah, pretty quiet week, so uh, not a whole lot to worry about there. Um, over at the library, let's see what they've got going on this week here as far as calendar. Uh, again, tinglib.org if you wanted to check it out for yourself. There's lots of great stuff on, on their website. They have a lot of really good, uh, uh, good things you can check out, cool programs uh, that are coming up and uh, so on and so forth. There's quite a bit there. Uh, but, of course, their calendar. So there's a writer's group tonight. There's tech advice tomorrow night. Uh, on Wednesday is Pokemon, which is always popular. There's quite a few kids that show up for that. Another tech advice. Uh, story time. That's a big one. If you've got young kids, this one's for ages 3 to 5. Um, it's great. It's really short. It's like a half hour, 45 minutes. They read some stories uh, to the kids, and they um, uh, uh, basically give you a little bit of a break for a few minutes anyway so the kids can sit and enjoy and listen to the story. Uh, and sometimes they'll have special guest readers uh, depending on the day. So uh, it's a pretty cool thing if you've got young kids uh, and maybe you don't have anything else to do with them, So especially since it's going to be drizzly. Although I don't know about Thursday. I'm not sure about the weather just yet. Uh, and then the library is closed as usual on Friday. And, of course, we're going to have the uh, the man and lady in red uh, showing up on Saturday for the, um, uh, for the library uh, Christmas uh, holiday expo. Um, and they'll be here to uh, take pictures and do stuff like that. So uh, definitely plan for Saturday. The time is 10 a.m., I believe. Yeah, it starts at 10 a.m. and goes till 11.30, so you can come down and uh, get your uh, have your kids' pictures taken. With, or you're, if you're an adult, you could have yours taken too, but have the kids' pictures taken with, uh, taken with Santa and uh, have a fun day of it, make a fun day of it, so they can uh, get to see Santa Claus. That's always enjoyable. Uh, also, I uh, wanted to jump over to the police website. If you guys hadn't seen this already, I'm not sure if it made the paper, but it definitely made, made its rounds on social media. There was a bit of a... Uh, Incident with one of our um, one of our newest officers. Unfortunately, um, uh, he was not hurt, thankfully. But uh, uh, there was an incident where his uh, his vehicle at a traffic stop was rammed by somebody, uh, not a very bright character, we'll say to say the least. Um, but decided he wanted to try to get away, I guess, and um, rammed his car into the uh, police cruiser. So uh, the officer's okay. Uh, he is out for. Uh, Actually, I'm not sure if he's out. His cruiser, rather, is out for <laughs> repair. Uh, the officer was okay, thankfully, uh, and the um, the gentleman, actually two gentlemen in question, were both apprehended. So uh, so it ended well. If you want to read the full story from our chief of police, Rich Howe, um, you can get it right on Tingsboro uh, Police website, uh, tingsboropolice.com. You can go right on there. It's right on the front news, uh, news section, so you can check it out and see what they had to say. Oh, and BZ. Thank you, Ronnie. And uh, BZ apparently did pick it up, so it did get out there onto uh, some of the bigger media media stuff as well so pretty cool um glad the officer was okay obviously glad they caught the guy that was uh, that was good to see but uh, but yeah so that's what's been happening in town 
And then let's see, I've got a few other things I just wanted to get to. Um, as I mentioned, Festival of Trees is coming up. If you want to check out uh, all of the uh, events that are coming up uh, at the Festival of Trees this year, go to tingsboroughrec.com. Uh, and I'll show you their web page in just a moment, and we'll get back to that in just a moment as well. Um, also, next week I'll have some information on the um, uh, Christmas tree drop-off. It's a little early, but it's good to kind of get, get it in people's minds at least so you know where to drop them off. Usually it's at the Senior Center and Highway Department. I'm waiting for confirmation on whether or not that's going to be the case. Um, uh, and as soon as I find out, I will let you know. So don't hold me to those two places just just yet because we have to make sure that that's actually what's going to happen. Uh, also from the Board of Health, they wanted to make sure that in recycled – uh, people aren't putting plastic bags. So you know what kind of plastic bags I think we're talking about here. The uh, the ones that come from the grocery store and various other places, um, uh, big box retailers and so on. Uh, please don't put those in your recycles. They do mess up the machinery and cause all kinds of problems. So if you can not use those or not put them in the recycling bin, they are not recyclable, um, then that would be very much appreciated. And usually uh, most stores have a place you can drop them off. So if you do like I do, you just kind of make a giant – uh, wad of them after a while you shove them all into one bag and make this huge ball of plastic bags you can bring them back to the stores um, target Mar market basket uh, Hannaford I believe collects them a bunch of different stores where you can get those from where they come from uh, will actually collect those back so just save them up and bring them there uh, I know a lot of people like to use them for trash which I do that's okay I believe uh, as uh, you know if you want to use them in the bathroom trash barrels and all the little places like that like I think most people do with them um, but just make sure they don't end up in the recycles. That's the kicker. Don't don't put them in the recycle bin because they cause all kinds of problems. Trash is fine, but not in the recycles. Uh, you don't want them to go there. Uh, also, from the um, uh, from our conservation director, Daniel Daniel Macaroni, the uh, town stormwater permit has been submitted to the EPA. Uh, there is a notice on our website if you wanted to go check it out. It's open for public comment at this point. Uh, and basically, what this means is it mandates the best practices for stormwater runoff into public waterways. So the town is developing a plan for uh, stormwater runoff. So basically your rainwater, as it falls, where does the rainwater go? Um, it would go into the gutters on the sides of the roads, and then that water would then be filtered into um, our major bodies of water. However, there's a bunch of uh, things that have to be in place in order for that to be allowed through the EPA, so ways to filter out uh, things that you don't want going into the water, so oil that may be on the road and so on and so forth. There's a bunch of different things. So if you have any questions about it, you can either call Danielle or you can go on the website and read the full brief uh, and get some information on that. But that has gone to the EPA. It's open for public comment. So um, if you wanted to make a comment, now is the time to do that. Hopefully nobody will have too many comments. It's a pretty cut and dry. Uh, you know, the town wants to do everything by the book and make sure that everything's done properly. So uh, especially with Danielle in charge, she's done a very good job at that. So um, uh, uh, interesting thing to... to keep an eye on and to sort of have some information about if you're ever curious about it. Like I said, you can go to a website and check it out. Uh, also, uh, for veterans, if you are a veteran, they are giving out free flu shots at the VA Health Clinic in Lowell. That's from our, our veterans agent. Um, and also, if you ever have any questions uh, on veteran services or anything like that, you can contact Chris Derry here at Town Hall. Uh, I'm actually going to bring you back to the website in just a moment and just show you his contact information. In fact, why don't I show you how to get to contact information? So that is usually a question about that. How do I find people? So uh, if you're on our website and you go to the top of the page and you go to departments, I'm waiting for it to load. There we go. Uh, and then all of the departments are listed on this one page here. You can scroll down to whichever department it is you're looking for. Uh, and obviously, we're going to go to Veterans Services. So let me see if I can get my mouse there. There we go. Veterans Services. And right on this page and the page of any other department, you will find all of the information about that department as well as contact information. So there is uh, Chris Derry, our veterans agent's information. So if you wanted to reach out to him or anybody in town uh, that's uh, a town department head, um, uh, you can get that information right on our website. So it makes it super easy to get all that info. So like I said, uh, free flu shots if you're a veteran over at the Lowell uh, VA clinic. Um, there may be others. He wasn't sure, but th at least that one he knew for sure. Uh, at the Lowell VA clinic, and then, like I said, questions um, for uh, for claims, VA claims, uh, or any other kind of um, veteran services that you're looking for, you can call Chris Derry uh, or email um, email Chris with the uh, information that I just had up on the screen. And like I said, you can go to the website and grab that as well. So uh, anything like that, feel free to help yourself. Also, um, the winter season, unfortunately, is upon us. Sad. <laughs> I'm not happy about this because it came really early. However, uh, we have to deal with it, so it is what it is. Uh, if you are a Tingsboro resident and you would like some uh, free sand and salt mix, uh, the Tingsboro Highway Department does have that out over at their uh, the Highway Department over on Kendall Road here. Uh, so help yourself. There is a huge shed full of it. However, you have to bring your own bucket 
uh, in order to take some home with you. There is no buckets or bags or anything to take it with you. So uh, bring a, a five-gallon pail or something to that effect, uh, and you can take as much as you want um, uh, within reason, obviously, I would imagine. But, uh, yeah, you can take a bunch and, and use it at your home for uh, sanding and salting because, obviously, you don't want to have uh, anybody slipping and falling, especially with the uh, the freezes we've been having and the meltage and then the freeze and the melt. and yeah. So it's going to be a fun one. So plan ahead, um, have some sand and salt. You can get some free stuff right over at the Kingsport Highway, they found them. So it's pretty cool. Uh, and then finally, the Festival of Trees. So that is uh, happening this weekend. There's tons and tons of great events. I'm going to, again, bring you back over to my computer screen so I can show you some of the um, – show you where to find information, and then also maybe we can talk about some of the events that are happening just quickly. Uh, so here we go. So I went to tingsbororec.com. That will take you to this page. Uh, Tingsboro Rec is spelt out the long way. So T-Y-N-G-S-B-O-R-O-U-G-H-R-E-C.com. Uh, and you can get all the info uh, that's happening at the rec department as well as Festival of Trees. So um, you'll see this nice scrolling banner here. And you can click on Festival of Trees. And you can scroll through the list of things happening. You can <coughs> register for things that need to be registered for. Um, there's a whole bunch of events uh, that are happening, uh, some short videos and things like that that are up here. Um, there's lots of info, so lots of stuff happening. Uh, uh, there's the, the, the ice tent happening outside on Friday night. There's uh, uh, the man in red showing up for photographs as usual. There's obviously the trees, there's the boutique, and there's a whole bunch of other things happening. Um, so if you want to um, uh, get some information, tingsborough.com, uh, or you can go to the Facebook page if you go to the Festival of Trees Facebook page. Oops, like my page didn't refresh. Anyways, you can go to Facebook. <laughs> you can and you can uh, just search Festival of Trees, and it will take you to Festival of the Festival of Trees page. Uh, make sure you're in the Tingsboro one because there's festivals of trees all over the place. There's quite a few of them actually. Uh, let me see if I can get back to it here. It might not take a minute, but yeah, that's fine. Anyways. Um, Lots of good info there. You can get uh, get updates and stuff. Uh, like the page and kind of see uh, some some more rapid updates of what's going on. They tend to post pictures and things like that. They did the big tree move uh, last last weekend, um, last Friday, where they brought all the trees over there and they're starting to get everything set up and stuff. So uh, it's a ton of work. There's a ton of volunteers that really that help with this thing and make this all happen. Allison Page, obviously our rec director, does the. Uh, uh, she kind of leads the leads the charge, but there's just a ton of people that are there to help her and uh, make everything happen. So um, if you want to volunteer some time, contact Allison. She's still looking for volunteers, I believe. So uh, I'm sure she would be happy to have some more volunteers or just come down and check out the festival. It's going to be really fun. Uh, we're going to do a special broadcast on Friday from the festival so you can check out. Uh, maybe we'll try to show off some of the stuff that's uh, in the room. Uh, it should be pretty cool, though. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So. Be ready for it. Uh, get ready to come down. Get your uh, your picture face on because you're going to take it uh, take a picture with Santa hopefully and uh, enjoy some of the trees. Bring the kids uh, and again lots of activities and stuff like that. Food and and drinks and all kinds of fun stuff. So um, that's about all I got, folks. Uh, as usual, any questions don't feel don't be afraid to email uh, me sbrogan at tingsboromay.gov. I'll do the best I can to get those questions answered. Um, as always, too, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this content. It helps to get it um, uh, out further to the rest of your neighbors. Sometimes uh, because of Facebook algorithms and other places we post these things, they don't get out as far as they should. Uh, but with that said, you can watch this on Facebook. You can watch it on YouTube or both of those where you can chime in and ask questions, uh, leave comments if you want. Uh, and you can also watch it on Verizon Channel 29 and Comcast Channel 8 here in Tingsboro and at tingsboroma.gov on our video on demand and streaming service. So uh, all that said, folks, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, enjoy the rest of it. It's supposed to be drizzly and kind of crummy outside. Um, I'll leave you with the weather, actually, before I before I let you go. Let me pull up the weather because, um, yeah, it's just, it's just going to be one of those days, I think, one of those weeks. But, um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hooray. Tonight rain, tomorrow rain, but it's supposed to clear up. And then looks like Wednesday, I see snowflakes. Uh. All right, anyways, we live in New England. It is what it is. <laughs> Have a good one, folks. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Bye.